Welcome back to Press Here. My next guest would be amazing in any context, but when you consider Jay Chaudhry grew up in a town with no electricity and now leads a company worth $1 billion, Zscaler, well, that's amazing. But as they say on TV, that's not all. Zscaler is Chaudhry's sixth startup. His first company, Secure IT, created with his wife around the kitchen table using their life savings, a company he sold to VeriSign for so much money, 70 of his employees became millionaires. Thank you for being with us this morning. Six startups, were they all successful? Thank you. Uh, various degrees. <laughs> Did they all end up with more money coming out of them than you put into them? Yes. That's successful. That'll, that'll be, that'll be a, a, enough for us. Yes. Obviously, the, the question you're going to get all the time is, is what's the secret? I mean, really six successful startups, the most recent one valued at a billion dollars. Right. So I have looked at some very simple formulas. Timing is everything. Looking for the right time to solve the right problem and then putting together a wonderful team that can execute. Is it the same team over and over? Are you kind of dragging the same people around doing the same things? No. Actually, I have a pretty simple formula. I take no more than a third of my previous managers with me. You need new ideas, new people, new innovations. So it's generally some new, new, new people along with some old people. You really have thought this out. Obviously, because you're on number six. It is. So, Jay, uh, tell us about Zscaler a little bit. Why is that a $1 billion company that probably a lot of people have not heard of? Startups always have a challenge to get the word out, and especially if you focus on enterprises. Generally, you don't hear that often as compared to consumer stuff. So Zscaler, my mission was to make sure the Internet becomes a safe place to do business for enterprises in the world of cloud and mobility. So we sit as a check post between the user and the internet to make sure nothing bad comes in, nothing good leaks out. To do that, we had to do things very differently than hundreds of security companies had done in the past. They built boxes that sat at one place or the other. We built a network of check posts around the internet. So no matter where you are, your traffic coming from your PC or your iPhone or your iPad simply gets directed to Zscaler, inspection happens, and you're off to the internet. And generally happens at a corporate level. You, you, a yes. corporation subscribes to your service, says, listen, I really don't want my, my, my employees looking at yes. Facebook. You see the, the incoming mm -hmm. request for Facebook, you deal with it and, and send it back. That is correct. It may be Facebook, it may be the whole host of applications you go to, it could be using Salesforce, any, all traffic going from employees to the internet goes through us to enforce business policy. In a way, and, and I don't mean to dominate the conversation, but I'm the English major here who, who needs to understand things in analogy, and that is, you, in a way, what I'm saying is, uh, would you please, Zscaler, ask the internet if, if I can see this YouTube video, and you decide whether or not that's something that I may see, and go fetch it. Uh, a little bit different. We don't decide any. Well, no, my boss decides, right, NPR. based on the criteria no. that my yes. corporation has. Yes. But that's a, a reasonable analogy. That's correct. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Jay, I think for us civilians, figuring out the valuations of startups mm -hmm. is confusing, and it's not clear why, say, Tumblr is worth so much more <laughs> than other companies which have a lot more revenue and profit. How does the math work for, for startups? So, good question. I think the two buckets. Consumer valuations, very complicated. They go up and down. Enterprises, the math becomes relatively simple. For us, we look at the, what's the market, total market opportunity out there. How fast are you going? In a cloud business, you look at something called annual recurring revenues. So we have grown over 110% since, since we started selling over the past three and a half years. So with the growth, with market leadership, with some of the lar largest companies in the world using us, we think we are poised to become the Salesforce.com of cloud security. We had uh, Neil Bouchery just on just the other day. He, he, he predicted his own success as well. Mm -hmm. You're saying that enterprise uh, estimations of valuations are probably more accurate because it's not, it's not kind of the it girl of the, uh, yeah. It's about absolutely. making money and there's, I assume there's less patience. Uh. Absolutely, and enterprises need this next stuff. See, consumers just jump from place A to B overnight. When we get deployed, we become very sticky. 
and businesses will happily pay for stuff as opposed to consumers who assume yeah. the World Wide Web is free, essentially? A absolutely, yeah. absolutely. With 10 million users from 4,000 enterprises. Where do your customers come from, Jay? So our customers are large enterprises. They come from all verticals because everyone needs it from VMware in the Valley to Autodesk to some of the big names who don't like the name to be used, but for Fortune <laughs> 5 companies to the large beverage company to large so, financial services companies. Very horizontal in nature. It's very horizontal in nature. One common theme is if you got lots of offices, lots of mobile users, lots of remote locations, you love us. Because sports, there's no place to put the box. There's, because you, takes, you've got employees all over the place. Take GameStop or Sports Authority with thousands of stores out there. How are you going to put all those boxes out there and try to manage, upgrade, and all that stuff? So one thing that sets us apart from hundreds of companies who, who claim to do security and policy is, they're like power generators. They, they sell that for your home. We built a power plant. Are there, are, there, are there countries using you? I know some of uh, your competitors have, have had some bad press over Iran or Libya. Or uh, are, are, are you selling to foreign governments? So we aren't selling to governments. We are focused on enterprises. And also what happens is, in the case of appliances, through distribution, they can get well, They get lost resold and resold. Wherever, whatever, your subscription, we, you know who's using we, your device. We or control not even the cloud. Device. We know what's happening, yeah. where is the traffic coming from, where it's going. So it's it's pretty well managed environment. And our big company is pretty comfortable today with handing this off to you in the cloud rather than wanting to control it themselves and put it on a box they can see. So you know, that question gets asked often. Then I ask my customers, the traffic that's coming to us is headed to the internet anyway. We're just being an extra layer of security to make sure you right. don't get in trouble. Right. We don't store any content. It's like a check post to make sure you stay safe. So yes, I've been surprised uh, the speed at which some of the largest companies are moving to adopt technology like ours. Jay, let's go back to your formulas, and, and I'll, mm -hmm. I need to make this last question as we, we get short on time. Uh, what business, you're busy running Zscaler, mm -hmm would you be in if you weren't? What, you know, there's a kid out there who's saying, all right, I want to be the next J, mm -hmm. and the hot space, the place to be is? So the, the two hottest areas are mobility and cloud. Sure. Okay, then the key thing is figuring out the right area within those segments, all right? So I simply, I, I generally look for a new area where others haven't gone, which is likely to become big, None of us have a crystal ball, so you, you use a lot of gut. If, if there is IDC data about a market segment, it's too late because others are in there. So, and, so you need to look for something that's not too big or too small. You're making a business bet. Jay Chowdhury, thank you for being with us this morning. We will, wish you luck on number seven, and, and please return <laughs> when, you, when you start that one. Appreciate thank you. Appreciate you being this morning. Thank Up you. next, should you buy or rent? Your software, do we really own anything anymore? Adobe's Jeff Veen when press here continues.